Hello. Hello. <laughs> so again, I'm I'm just gonna kind of quickly say um, say hello. Uh, my name is Sanel Breslov. I'm the director of affairs and editions at Printed Matter. I'm the director of the uh, Printed Matter Virtual Art Book Fair, and I'm really really excited to uh, be connecting with uh, Maya Ruth Lee and her family today. Um, and doing a, and there's, hello, Peter. <laughs> um, and, uh, and kind of doing a tour together uh, for this group. Um, this is a live tour, so anything can happen. And, uh, and we've got a really nice group with us here. And um, I may just jump in and start sharing my screen, Maya. If there's anything that you wanna share, it would be Really nice to hear a little bit about um, the show that you just opened last night. Can you tell us a little bit? Yeah, so to, right now we're in Denver, Colorado. Colorado is uh, the state we live in now. Um, we moved here last year. And um, yeah, yeah, last night I opened a show here at MCA Denver. And so we found me here, Peter, Nima, my son, he's three. Yoma is how many years old? Don't worry about it. Oh, the show, the show is called um, The Language of Grief. And um, it was sort of, you know, a difficult I, time to I be making work, me. but, you know, it was really interesting to just dive into the what concept of sort of the illegibility of the grief that we're all experiencing right now on multiple various levels. So it was a kind of, it's kind of a poetic show in some ways. Um, there's a bit of writing, Peter's video is in it as well. And um, I have paintings and installations. So yeah, that was last night. Thank you. Um, and but really cool that we're doing this because I feel like you know this time every year is like when everyone comes together and we're all like catching up and you know catching up with each other's projects and it's such an exciting time um, but what a wonderful way of kind of replicating that virtually thank you so thank um, you <laughs> yeah um, Absolutely, I'm. I'm. Um, I'm very happy to connect with you, and this is something that we've uh, been trying to really embrace with this entire production. That there's um, this opportunity to still be together, to still see each other, um, to still see what we've been working on. And, yeah. Um, and so I hope, yeah, I hope that this production really is, allows for that. I think it does. I think it does. It, you know, at the same time, um, it's, it's, it's just like a new challenge. It's a new, it's a new thing that, that you have to like dive in, embrace. Uh, it takes a little, I think it takes a lot of courage for a lot of the people that are participating to have done, the, like, invested in, in like doing what they've done for this fair. So I'm really proud. I'm really proud of everyone. And I'm, and I'm excited. Yeah. To, to, to poke around with you. <laughs> yeah, me too. And, um, you know, I didn't actually browse through the website yet. So this is going to be pretty new and maybe for people kind of tuning in, it might be their first time too. So this is all going to be exciting. Cool. Um, I am sure that I can see the chat and I can. Okay, perfect. That way, if anybody, if anyone has questions or has like see something that they want to also direct us in that direction, please feel free. Um, and uh, Maya, can you see my screen okay? Yeah, yeah. I see your, your screen and I see you in a little box. Great. <laughs> um, so here we are at the homepage and uh, we are just like first welcomed with like a little kind of teaser video that we made from um, exhibitors contributing videos saying hello. There's also audio. We have it start in silent, but there is also audio and um, it's just a big welcome. You know, it's a big... Our press was not a business. It's a way of life. Uh, it gives you, yeah. Music. Yeah. 
Um, and and here are Marion and, and uh, Mel um, from research. Don't get down this chair. <laughs> Destroy Productions <laughs> publications. Hey, Nima. All right, so I I heard that there were some special requests from Nima. So I'm going to I'm going to just jump in and maybe see if we can find some children's books. Um, we have this tab here called exhibitors, and I'm going to go straight there. Uh, the way that we organize the fair is that there's uh, categories, but then there's also additional tags that the exhibitors select to themselves. So I'm going to jump to that, and here is a section <laughs> for children's books. Cool. And what we see is um, a screenshot of all the exhibitors' websites. Each exhibitor has made their own website for this fair. So rather than a table, they have a website. Okay, stop talking. <laughs> um, so Nina, do you see do you see a color maybe or a, a picture that you? Would you want to see what that is? That you like? Wow, see that looks so cool. Oh. Look at that. Let's check out uh, childish books. All right. This is a fairly new. Oh, go We're, We're just looking at it. We're just looking at it. Look at all these books. So childish is a fairly new publisher, um, and I've heard behind the scenes that they're they're doing really well, which is really great to hear. They have super super cute books. Z kids, as you can see. Um, Oh and yeah. How do you pronounce how do you pronounce zine is you know immediately. Um sign 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 sign. I just, wanna sit on your lap. <laughs> okay. You're gonna have to yeah. accommodate this little princess here. <laughs> um totally. Oh look at how funny this is. Um, can we uh, can we check out the Great Enigma? I see that it's um. It looks like uh, good night. Yeah, like, good night. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, it's such a cool design. We can wow. jump in and like see like a little detail. Wow. Yeah. Um, see, look, we can even read it. We sleep. We can read it. Yeah, we it's swoon. Like the Great Enigma. Great Enigma. It's it's beautiful. And it looks like it's risograph or something like that. It does. I'm. I. I believe it is. Um, uh, it's uh, someone named Hannah. It's. It's uh, their project, and um, they worked pretty closely for a long time with Endless Editions. And this is a fairly new project that Hannah started, and it's, oh, awesome. it's very sweet and it's beautifully done. It's uh, beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice that you can click through these books and just yeah, no, absolutely read them on the page. Yeah, so I have a question. After the show, after the um, fair, does d do these sites still live on or do these sites go away? Very good question. Um, we will, uh, these websites can continue to exist, but mm -hmm. they won't be connected to the kind of main platform of the fair. Um, you know, it's similar to after a fair, you kind of like pack up your bag, you clean up your mm -hmm. table and you and you head in your way, but you obviously still have all the content. Um, and, uh, and so each exhibitor actually has the opportunity to uh, keep their site if they'd like, uh, but it won't be connected to the fair. Um, very cool. This is, a, I love this horse child. child. The horse it's child. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, they've done a really nice job, this publisher, of like showing <laughs> the inside of these books. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. and, and I think that there's, yeah, quite a few examples of that. Oh, nice. I saw on the left tab um, uh, uh, a link to Dizzy Magazine. Can we ch check out Dizzy Magazine? Totally. And what's really nice about this, this uh, about Childish is that they've done what we've kind of asked some exhibitors or all exhibitors to do if they if they feel like they want to recommend their friends. So this is kind of like when you're at the fair. Oh, that's so friends, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like neighbors, For you, know, sure. you have like people that you know you're always going to see and people that you want to see. Mm -hmm. So here's like a link. And so absolutely, let's go to Dizzy. That's a good, 
There it is. Hey, look at you. Amazing. That, that little girl. She's looking at a book. Yep. Very cool. Like all kinds of styles of these animation. I mean, it's really nice that there's some exhibitors that just like really embrace this platform and like just did things that they wouldn't be able to do with yeah. the fair itself, you know? Um, special, it's really special. Look at they, that. That yeah. looks really strong. Yeah, this is amazing. Yeah. Illustration. <laughs> Inside one of the books we're looking at. Oh, yeah, it's a Mexico, Mexico issue. issue. Okay, amazing. <clears throat> there it is. Can you guys see? Aw, I love these little characters. characters. Um, that's so cool. cool. Wow. Yeah. Um, there's, let's see, we can go back again um, and go back to that tag if we want to. Mm -hmm. And let's see what's down here. Okay. Uh, so these are all, um, should we check out Miniature Garden? Yeah, sure, for sure. I think that um, oh, wow. uh, really what they've, what Denise has done here with her work. I mean, there's a, there's actually quite a few exhibitors and I, I'd love to show you another example of this where mm -hmm. there's like something about watercolor on these pages that has like translated so beautifully. Um, so cool. So again, like in the digital kind of space where we're like not expecting like the tactility and the like texture of book to translate, like there's some there's some really really beautiful mm -hmm. examples, um, and I wow. think Denise has also some books that her son has made here. So oh, these maybe. are by Elliot. Oh yeah, Elliot. Hi Denise. Hi Elliot. <laughs> oh, amazing. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that's a, that's a masterpiece. This is a very good activity for uh, ages three to five, I would say. Oh, for sure. I mean, I did that a couple of times with Nima and just gave, gave him the keyboard and he would just go, yep. go crazy with it, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to see sort of like the variation in, in everyone's table is so different yeah absolutely um i want to show you i'd love to show you uh so i went to the search uh there's like you can sort by browser like if you're like not necessarily want to go through the directory and like use the tags you can also just go to sort by name and you can find an exact exhibitor that you're looking for and i just wanted to show you this site by colorama um, cool. also like speaking to like how specifically with like uh, watercolor and mm. just, like different ways that books are made to then like translate them to online form. Oh, these are beautiful. And then also to like have, you know, some like video uh, embeds. And, and this is like a very kind of slow. Oh, I love that. Someone doing a drawing. Wow. So is Melek the person who's making, hmm. is, is Melek the person who runs the press too? Or no, this, so Melek, Colorama, Melek is an artist. Yeah, Colorama is, um, is, uh, run, is it a Berlin-based project uh, run by uh, Johanna uh, Mirsky. Oh, okay, and, so all the information is at the bottom. And so, yeah, exactly. I'm pointing to the footer here where uh -huh. there's uh, a small bio. Plus, if we wanted to like send a message to Johanna, uh, there's a little chat box here for every exhibitor. And we can, oh. you know, send a note to them if we'd like. I think I sent them a note last night telling them that I love their <laughs> what oh. looks like. Um, and, the, and also what's really nice is that we have like a time stamp here. So you mm -hmm. can see she's based in Berlin. Like I'm in New York, um, in New York, what time is it? It is 12.19. You are in Denver. In Denver, it is? 10.19. Johanna is in Berlin and it's 6.19. So 
we all kind of like a much later in the afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we're just, you know, kind of, it's like, it's like this timestamp for us. Is, That's really cool. Um, but yeah, there was like this amazing watercolor uh, that I was looking at last night that I was just like, oh, it was so beautiful. Yeah, I, would love I, I think it's so smart that you guys included videos or options for videos because that's the part I think the one thing that gets lost perhaps um, at a physical book fair, you know, I think there's so many distractions and you're talking to people and sometimes you kind of miss out on the actual books, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, I talked to so-and-so, I didn't really check their booth. It's, it ends up sort of being that way because of sort of the, the frenzy of the, of the event. I, um, this I is really amazing because I don't think, you know, you, you can see sort of behind the scenes and process videos. Um, and the website kind of brings more the, I guess, the feeling of and sort of the identity of, of the project or the press too. Totally. And it's very all-encompassing, it seems like. I agree. And it's what I was saying earlier. Like, I think that there's a lot of exhibitors that like, I mean, I think many, many, most really an opportunity to like show like, you know, their identity, their representation and like give you just so much insight into the content, um, yeah. which exactly like at a fair is just so it's dizzying, you know, and it's like, and you're there to also like see your friends and you, don't necessarily get like that that like chill moment to just like look at something quietly, you know, um, and 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 uh, and and yeah, just spend some time. I mean, it's we we all have had a lot of uh, you know, I mean, some of us more than others, but you have a different kind of time on your hands these days. And I think that with like this production, there's been an opportunity to spend more time with the content itself. It's really cool. Do you want to say anything? Uh, I'd have to see a list. A list? I mean, we could check out 8-Ball. Yeah, we can jump in here. Yeah, they've done something really fun. They have this like floating happy face. Um, but they also, I don't know if you can see it yet because it may be like, um, it may actually be uh, loading still on mine does my cursor look like an eight ball to you or no it's just a cursor oh, no. it's a cursor okay maybe they'll take a minute to load a minute ago there was like there was yeah they've added this component where the cursor is an eight ball but i mean what's really nice about their page is that they've like dedicated like i mean i think just in the in the spirit of what eight ball is like they are doing a lot of mutual aid and so they like really forefront that. Also, they have their own mixes every day. So like oh, all radio, nice. just, oh, here's the eight ball. You see the cursor now? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best thing I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Enemies around, and come against me. By the will of child, they can't hurt me. No. All right, I'm gonna let you guys listen to it on your own. That's amazing. I love that. It's it's kind of like their booth. That's there's always music. There's always someone listening, DJing. Ow. And I feel like the vibe of Eight Ball was always sort of like this unique. Oh, I thing. did that one. <laughs> oh, is that yours? Yeah. <laughs> Yoma here is oh. used to be part of part of it for oh. sort of during the founding times. So it's, yeah. It, yeah, it's really cool. Now I'm old. Mm -hmm. Now you're old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I passed the bone folder to the kids. <laughs> all, we, all, we all got too old. <laughs> <laughs> we all got too old for the fair. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna I'm gonna we, we like talked about a few other people should I should I go in that direction should I check in with Tal a Talba's table should I go yeah, sure. to diagonal? Let's go to Talba. all right let's see I wonder if she might be under graphic design and so like I just clicked on graphic design and that took me to like a bunch of 
different kinds of tables. Uh, what's under there? Huh. I wonder what the tags are. I actually don't know them. Um, so maybe we need to browse then. Typography. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back. Thank you. Oh, that's not typography, that's technology. <laughs> oh, great um, technology. <laughs> there it is. So typography, there's like, a, this is like a, I, I just encourage you guys later to check in on this Rolo Press oh. Yellow Pages. I don't know if, it's not clear what's happened here, but they like, they like hired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is, this is so awesome. Art book fair in the virtual <laughs> A booth of Rolo Press and Yellow Pages. Uh, wait, uh, vir virtual. <laughs> but I'm real. I'm the banana man. Uh, how are you today? You're good. Well, do you do you uh, need any help? Uh, uh, are you looking for, for something? Should I introduce you to our new <laughs> fifth publication? Code YP005 <laughs> is called Hacker Finder by Mr. L All right, I'll let you guys get back there another time. But That's amazing. I love that. I don't know. I mean, there's, I like some people have done things that we don't even know how exactly it happens. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, here's, here's a Diagonal Press's page. Amazing. And Hi, Talba. I know. I mean, this is so gorgeous. Wow. Can we do this? Can we do and this I understand one? that there's a lot of, uh, I think the new type specimens are new works for the fair, right? I believe so. Yeah. Um, and I think the maps, or like she made new maps. These are wow. so cool. They're They're gorgeous. Different. Yeah. I mean, I think we all need them for our- need I mean, so much work has gone into just these, I, these sites alone, I love, I like spiders. you know, and like really, like, like really innovative too. I love that banana man. I think. Can we ask a hilarious. question about the? My partner wanted to ask a question as a developer about how the website was built. Yeah. So, did you have like each um, contributor, uh, like? design like encode each of their pages or did they have like a software where they were able to um, basically design and like put everything together? Um, it's a good question. So what we did was um, we have a partner in Cargo and so all the sites are built on the Cargo platform. And what we did was we, um, we created a template and we shared that template with very clear instructions for each exhibitor. And some of them followed the template and some of them didn't. And what Cargo uh, is, is that it's not, co it's not entirely code. It's, it's like a platform similar to uh, like WordPress or Squarespace where you like have a backend that is like you yeah. can, uh, more directly edit. Um, but the FAIR website, the hub, when we look at you know, these pages, this was built by the FAIR production team and with a d a designer, Richard Gia. And so all of these pages, the program pages, the exhibitor pages, um, the arcade, you know, with, with the uh, various games and backdrops, like that's something that we produced, but all the individual exhibitor pages were designed um, and, and the content was input by the exhibitors themselves. Thank you. Yeah, I love how everything is cohesive, but so different from each other. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, I can show you uh, just like my, like I think that as some examples, like this is actually the template, but it's again like, and so with this like left side navigation, this is the template that we provided, but the way that it was used by each exhibitor, it absolutely like speaks to what, what Maya was saying earlier about kind of sh showing an identity of a publisher. Like this is, this essentially is one book, one, one um, project that they just dedicated the entire site to. Um, where there are others like what we were just looking at with uh, Talba that, you know, her, she, she went away from that template and she created something that's 
also very like I think straightforward and easy to navigate, but it's 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 her design. Mm -hmm. It's really innovative, honestly. Maybe you know I I feel like you guys are really starting something really new. Um, I I wonder if um, so we originally are from New York, but also now living out west. And I wonder how, as like someone involved in organizing the fairs this kind of accessibility, like if there's a possibility, and I've asked this in other events we've been able to participate in that before we'd only be able to do those already living in Brooklyn. Does this inform anything you think about the fair's future? It's so cool to see like bad student or Risa presses I follow from South Africa and they're all able to participate on kind of an equal level. I also agree with what Maya was saying that often at the fair, I'm so like sweaty and overwhelmed and excited that mm -hmm. I only decompress or absorb the books I got like days later <laughs> or check out people's websites later. And I'm trying to remember everything I was excited to see. Mm -hmm. Do you think the site could be part of the fair's future or, or how do you feel about it? I guess now that we're in the middle of it. Uh, I mean, I feel really positive about it, and I, I'm hopeful that that's the direction that this entire production is going. I think that um, I think that there, the access to the content of the fair, the programs, the exhibitors themselves has been something that we've always kind of been thinking about how to how to uh, share this with a much broader audience. Um, we, you know, this is not. It, it didn't just kind of come to us with this production, but this production made it the, the priority. And so uh, absolutely, like we, we realize that not only is it for visitorship that it's more accessible, but also for exhibitors. There are many exhibitors who are new to the fair this year and have not, and we didn't even know about these projects. Uh, they're not necessarily new, they're just new to us because those projects for one reason or another couldn't afford to come to New York or LA or couldn't, couldn't come to the U.S. at all, you know, for various reasons. So there's 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 a lot of that, and it's something that like we there's we we want to be able to be a platform for those for those voices, for those artists, for those books. Uh, so absolutely, I mean, I I hope that that I mean I as a director, like that is the direction that I would like for this production to be going. Yes. Yeah, the equal playing field is is so important, I think, because, you know, in, a, in the physical fair too, like each level has a different vibe, accessibility, um, kind of a different kind of mood. And so, you know, I personally will sometimes not even go into certain areas of the book fair just because, you know, it's, it's not something, you know, I just, I don't, Feel like it or maybe there's it's too crowded or you know it's too hot in there and so I just kind of avoid certain areas mm -hmm. of the fair but this is incredible I was just gonna ask you can I I like the location tags mm -hmm. um and this kind of gives you such a broad view of like the variation and the diversity of this fair can I can we check out South Korea totally Let's see, we have one publisher from South Korea. Ooh, cool, Dats Press. Um, and Dats is someone who's actually been part of the fair for I think a, a number of years. They are photo-based. Okay. And um, I mean, this is so beautiful, isn't it? Like, I think with the photo, with the photo publishers especially, there's like this kind of um, opportunity to see these images that you would otherwise like really have to like spend time with their books you know like and um, sure. with photography especially uh, mm -hmm. yeah this is awesome and they you know they again like it's a pretty straightforward design but they 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 make the images really like the first thing you see um exactly which is really really nice very cool um, can we check out a couple more before? Yeah, let's check out a few more. And then um, I, it would be so, uh, I may just like, I mean, something I want to point out, Maya, because you, you are kind of seeing a lot of this for the first time um, mm -hmm. is, oops, people are in the waiting room. I'm just gonna let people in. Okay. 
maybe there was, yeah, I didn't notice that until just now. Um, sorry if you guys were waiting for a little while. I'm just uh, letting people in. Um, but there's there's this uh, there's this dice up here, and that actually lets you jump into any exhibit. Like um, it's a randomizer of exhibitors. So mm -hmm. like you jump on that dice, and you don't you don't know who you're going to get. And it's 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 a random selector of the 400 plus exhibitors there. So so great. I love that. That was uh, that was Quago that we jumped onto, which is uh, also from um, the Philippines. And then here's Raw Meat, which is a, mm -hmm. a publisher that is kind of a regular of the 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 zine um, tent in New York. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do it one more time just for fun. Here's Paper Monument. I don't know if you heard about uh, or there, there was a program for this book that just uh, came out the other day. Um, mm -hmm. which is, was phenomenal talk that um, Daisy Nam and Christopher Ho did uh, to launch this book on Thursday. And that program is, um, I can like show you uh, that th that program is actually now archived. So we do have a full schedule of programs all week long. Mm -hmm. And that program took place on, um, on Thursday. And oh, wow. we've already archived it. So if you're interested in watching it later uh, or whenever, um, we have all the programs from the fair accessible as well. We're trying to like basically do one day after the other, um, but after the fair, everything will also be available. Wow, this is, there's so much content in here. It's like, <laughs> I hope this uh, website lives on for a while because I think it's going to take a long time to even go through um, everything. The the site and all of this content will will be the archive will be the fair archive. <laughs> so absolutely, what will no longer be you know to point to your like earlier question like what will no longer be part of the fair will be the exhibitor websites, but okay. like those sites will still be accessible with the exhibitors themselves if they choose. But if you can imagine uh, managing 400 websites uh, oh. is, is beyond uh, our capacity. So, um, so it's something that we're kind of like, you know, the, fairs, the fair ends and, and, and everyone kind of like moves forward. Um, but yeah, there's, there's some really awesome, uh, uh, also, all you know, music <coughs> happening in the stage all day long. There has been in the past. Um, this is the stage. Uh, yeah. So I, I'm gonna just like go into the arcade just to show you a little bit of the fun stuff too. This is like the backdrops. Here we are. This is our tour. I'm just. <laughs> this is the page that like was had our tour listing. Uh, we cool. did a bunch of like recorded tours also um, over the last couple of days and they, they live on here. Um, and one thing that we're all really, really proud of is um, our photo booth. Um, People kind of sign in. Well, not only sign in, they can also, here I am. This is like the, re the reality of where I am actually. I'm in a, a Midtown office with my poster. The real back. Me. And uh, you can take your photo. And, and then you can add it to the guest book. Oh, cool. So like we have people, guests, uh, visitors, exhibitors from all over signing in um, here. There's Emmy. Um, and this is so sweet. I love, I love how you've been able to really kind of bring warmth into sort of this experience. This is like a, a photo booth, like guest book. It's so cool. <laughs> there I am again, just like, <laughs> I, I encourage, you know what? I think that what we need to do is we need to do like a shot. Uh, I'll take a screenshot of us. Okay. And I'm gonna drop it in. All right. You ready? Yeah. Good. All right. I'm going to drop it in after we, we're done with our call. Um, 
<laughs> but you guys, I, I really encourage you to like, uh, you know. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Wander around a bit more. Um, and I mean, thank you for making this experience so safe for everyone. <laughs> actually it just looks so much fun everyone put so much time and effort into creating really different sites and experiences all together and I can only imagine how much work on your end it took to even you know come up with all these details this dice thing if you press it it randomizes so you can pick you, wow. you know, Super I mean, cool. it's really, it's, it's so, it's really innovative. I, I think I really commend you guys for that. Thank you so much. I, I'm really, yeah, I'm really proud of this project. Like I, I have a killer team, you know, and, uh, and Printed Matter is like, you know, just like, we have to make this, we have to do it. Like whatever it is, we have to do it. And I think that what we've done is really, really cool. All right, I have to take another screenshot now. Here, wait, come here, Jordan come too. here. <laughs> Guess who else is here? Surprise. Uh, how do I, oh, there's people. Oh my God, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> wait, how do I make this now bigger? I wanna like, I, I'm taking the tiniest little screenshot. Jordan, <laughs> I can't believe you were there the whole time. I just actually just got to the apartment now. Oh, really? All right. Here, okay, here, wait, wait. wait and Nima. He's done a wardrobe change. <laughs> um, and, but we, yeah, you guys, could, you can get a group shot of us. <laughs> it's going to be tiny because I, I can't figure out how to make the screen bigger because I'm sharing screen, but I think it'll work. Wow. Jordan, I gotta hear, I gotta hear what you think about this whole thing, but that's gonna be, I'm gonna just like text you and we'll do another tour later. <laughs> You've got so much, yeah. Yeah, well, we'll we're gonna spend more time on the site and look around and thank you for the, I feel like this, 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 uh, this guideline or this guide is, it's been great. Nima. Hey. Thanks for coming to the tour, Nima. Easy, thank you. I hope you saw some things that you liked. <laughs> he, he, he looks, he looks uh, he turned off. empty inside <laughs> right now. Um, his batteries are out, yeah. Um, but thank you so much, um, Sunil, for, for this. Absolutely. And thank you so much. I know you're so busy and like, the fact that oh, you no, know that I mean, last night, like, Congratulations. This timing is perfect. Great to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks to everybody so good for coming. To see you. And I just like, I miss everyone. And this is such a great way to really do this. So I, I really commend you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time and the effort. There's so much love put into it. I can, I can really feel that. Thank you. Thanks. Um, all right, Hi everybody. Well, Does anyone have questions? I hope I didn't miss anything. No, I we're good. We're good. Okay, amazing. We Bye. love you. Bye. 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 Thank you so much. Bye. 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 <laughs>